Yo, guys, get on the stream. We're about to enter the Slender Forest. All right, here we go. Okay, judging by how it looks, I do not trust this forest at all. There are eight pages we need to collect. As we do that, the Slender Man is hunting us down, so we need to run as fast as possible. Okay, SpongeBob, I think he understands now. Anyways, is Morshu here? Yo, guys, I have arrived at the group chat, so we're in the Slender Forest now. I hope Patrick remembers how to do this part. Wait! What's going on? Why is my character moving so slowly? And why is everything going black and white? I also hear weird whisperings. That's just visuals you see in this game, Patrick. It doesn't affect your gameplay at any chance whatsoever. I'm pretty sure the page locations are random, right? Yep. Just like in the original Slender, the eight pages. Anyways, we're about to go into the forest now. Just remember that Slender Man can teleport behind and in front of you also. Oh my god! I fucking hate it when he does that! It fucking legit scares me so much when he appears in front of me all the time! I think this might be the first page I've ever collected. Awesome, Patrick. Now just seven more and we will progress onwards. Also, what the fuck is this stomping sound I'm hearing? Well, Patrick, it's the sounds of the forest telling you you're fucked. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I think he spotted me! I need to run! Run, Patrick! He has seen you! He will also teleport behind and in front, so you may need to be extra careful on what you see. I have this game on full volume. Any sound that is coming from my headset is gonna fucking scare me so hard! Holy shit, keep running, Patrick. The other pages are probably at the other locations. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Oh fuck, no, 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 fuck, this is bad, holy shit. When you get caught by Slender Man, it's told that you become his minion, or a slave called a proxy. I swear to God, Slender is the definition of a man in a white van stalking a child. Literally. Where's the fucking page at? Patrick, it's probably not there. Just go to a different location. There will be pages over there. Wait, hold on. I think I saw the page. There it is. God, I'm so dumb right now. Excellent. Now go to a different location now. We can't keep Slender here for long. Yeah, 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 whatever. I think I see another location on this path here. Might be another page. We have three out of seven now. Why the fuck did the stomping just change into a creepy-ass environment like Five Nights at Freddy's? The more pages you collect, the more eerie the sound gets. Okay, that's understandable. And oh, would you look at that another page here? Oh shit, I think I saw him! Shit, just run, Patrick! Fuck, that scared me. If you keep looking at him, he will take you. So just keep in mind of that. I'll just take a peek, wait, no fuck, I see what you mean now. Oh fuck, 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 shit! No fuck, fuck, shit! Oh fucking Zumbo Sauce, he's right behind you, Patrick! Don't look at him! Oh, that was scary! I need to get out of here! Really, Mickey? Zumbo sauce. Your vocabulary must be super creative. How is this dude teleporting everywhere? I told you, SpongeBob, that he can teleport everywhere on behind and in front, which makes it creepy and hard. Harder, Oswald. Keep that shit to yourself and focus on this game, Patrick! Dude, I'm fucking messing with you, Jesus. Nobody can even take a joke anymore. Let me guess, Patrick, next! You're gonna say I'm Big Dick Mickey Mouse, huh, Patrick? Guys, stop! I swear to God, you guys go off topic all the time in these types of scenarios when we are playing horror games like this. Just stop it! For real, dude, it's not even fucking funny anymore! What in the actual fuck just happened with you guys over there? Holy shit. That argument just escalated very quickly, Patrick. Your argument almost made us tear apart. That's pretty much why, Oswald, it does have a strong impact on the mentally prepared. That looks like a place with another page. Gotta go get it. Collecting all these pages was the true friendship the entire time. I'm so glad I found the source of it all. Actually, it's literally the exact opposite. We have been wandering around finding nothing this whole time. And let me guess, Slender is gonna get us now. Don't try and jinx this, Oswald. I think that's another page over there! Come on, I'm almost there. Where the fuck is the last page at? We probably went through a part, but just didn't see a page. Maybe go to the place with all the cargo out there. Then that explains where the last one is. This is like that one time when I went camping with Goofy and Donald. Oh damn, did anything go wrong while you guys were camping? Long story short, long story short, anyways, we need to finish this part. Damn it, Slender is on me. Come on, go faster, you slow bitch. We're almost there. This is almost taking forever at this point. Where did you last see this page, Patrick? Bro, honestly, I don't remember, but I found it. Finally, thank fucking God. I was about to get pissed off. Fuck yeah, Patrick. Now we can just relax and... Ah! Holy shit, what the fuck just happened? Shit, run, run, run!
Keep running, we will make it out eventually. Oddly enough, I wonder why most of the clips of this video was cut out. Maybe it was just too long for Mr. Meme to fill out most of this video. I don't know, Morshu. Most of these videos can be full on gameplay, but yeah, I guess you're right about that. Happens all the time on YouTube, unfortunately. Enough with the fourth wall breaks! I want to know where the fuck are we now? We woke up on the place that doesn't seem like the wheat field. I've always wondered about this part. It just seems to me that we may have woke up in a different place, or we might have gotten killed by Slenderman, and now we're in a full-on relaxing forest with nothing bad to happen, or we just had a drug trip. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a drug trip. Mostly these types of Slender Man sightings can be a messing with your head type of thing, or just a drug trip. Messing with your head and drug trip? They're basically the same thing you know? Ah, uh, whatever. Anyways, I forgot what happens in this part. Anyone care to explain? Basically, since we just had a goofy, ah, uh, snooze, we wake up here like we just did right now. Anyways, we keep walking in the forest for a bit. Then we see a some sort of minor place looking thing with some sort of entity that is supposed to be Kate, I'm guessing. But you know, that hood kind of resembles Joe's son, Hunter. Not gonna lie, Kate in this game does kind of dress up like a drug dealer like Hunter and that hoodie perfectly fits him. Yeah, and he's not as talented as any other person in the world. I'm glad my father wasn't some dumbass who liked to sniff Parmesan cheese, and also had a father who was fucking sleepy all the time and likes to sniff millions of hair from kids. And not to mention, he is going after his deceased brother's wife. Just saying. All right, enough chit-chat, y'all. Is this the mine with the crackhead in it? Yep, that's it. We should probably end it here for now. We'll get back to the game later. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna go play some Roblox. You guys wanna join? Yeah, I'll play some Roblox. Well, me. Mickey and Morshu are gonna play some Minecraft. Catch you all later. See ya, Patrick. <laughs>